Peace and blessings. This is Brother Mike X. Uh, in honor of my spiritual father, El Haj Malik El Shabazz. Um, this being May 19th, 2015, you know, Brother Malcolm's 90th birthday. I just wanted to take the time to show a few books. Um, and this is just a few, there are more. But I just wanted to give the family an opportunity to see that there are many books talking about the life and times and philosophy and ideology of Brother Malcolm X. Right now, of course, I'm focused on the most famous, you know, the autobiography of Malcolm X written by Alex Haley. But I have, uh, I don't even know how many I have spread out. I just want to go through them right quick to give you an opportunity to see what they look like and, you know, get the title of the books and the author of the books. And um, so that you might want to, you know, further your studies on this great, complex, dynamic, you know, black man. So this book right here is called From Civil Rights to Black Liberation, Malcolm X and the Organization of Afro-American Unity. And it was written by a brother named William W. Sales Jr. Um, this is a powerful book because not only does it talk about Brother Malcolm, but it talks about the organization that he was striving to form at the time of his death. You know, and, and it was said that Malcolm said to his friends and, and, and members of the organization of Afro-American unity, I don't care what happens to me. But the organization of Afro-American community must survive. And um, unfortunately, you know, his 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 wishes, you know, at the time of his death, um, for various reasons, um, you know, were not fulfilled. So I would definitely say this is a powerful book because in these days and times we need organization amongst the black man, the black family. And um, the OAAU is definitely um, on paper, you know, it, it had the type of philosophy that sought to bring us together from our most radical groups to our more moderate, you know, groups. So um, definitely check that one out. This one is Malcolm X as they knew him, you know, and, and on in this book, there's a host of people who give their perspectives. Um, some of them knew Malcolm intimately. Some of them was just impacted by Malcolm. You know, by reading about him or hearing about him, um, Malcolm X, as they knew him, by David Gellin. Um, it says with Alex Haley, James Baldwin, Maya Angelou, William Kunstler, James Farmer, Eldridge Cleaver, and others. Malcolm X on Afro American history. Um, this is a book of speeches, you know, delivered by Brother Malcolm. Malcolm X, the assassination, you know, by Michael Friedley. You know, this is a book that strives to, um, you know, take note of and highlight the various complexities that brought about the demise of Brother Malcolm X. And um, there were different groups that had, you know, their hands on, um, you know, following Malcolm around the country and documenting what he was doing and ultimately led to his demise. And this book, um, you know, it, it, it's a good book. You know, I definitely read it. Um, it has important information in it. And, um, you know, check it out if you can. Now, this book right here, Remembering Malcolm, it's, it's, it's a short book. It's not even a big, giant book. But um, this book was written... Um, by brother Benjamin Karim and brother Benjamin Karim was the brother who he came out of the nation of Islam with Malcolm and he was the brother who introduced Malcolm on February 21st 1965 um the day that Malcolm X was assassinated and um in this book um Benjamin Karim he gives a lot of um information intimate information of his remembrance of brother malcolm in the most intimate of settings um varying from you know riding in the car with him and um sitting at his dinner table with his family 
um, you know, leaving the nation of Islam with Malcolm and, you know, all the way up until that dreadful day in February of 1965. It's, it's definitely a very powerful book, well worth reading. You know, check that one out if you can. This is The Final Speeches. You know, Malcolm X, February 1965. Um, it speaks for itself. You know, it documents, um, uh, you know, some of Malcolm's fam you know, most famous speeches, you know, um, leading up to his death. Um, definitely worth checking out. Um, you know, it should be noted that this, these books, reading these books will give you a stronger and more accurate perception of who Malcolm actually was more than just watching the movie. And that's not to say um, to take anything away from the movie, because I know some people had a problem with the movie. Um, I had no problem with the movie. You know, of course, the movie is not going to be able to depict everything about, you know, such a complex figure as Brother Malcolm X. Um, I think the movie did its job. You know, it revived the interest, you know, of new generations in Malcolm X. And, um, you know, I think the movie is definitely well worth watching. Um, it dramatizes brother Malcolm's life and what he tried to do. Um, just don't leave it at the movie, you know, take advantage of what I'm showing you right now and do the, do your study. Um, this book is called Malcolm X talks to young people. Um, it's another book of speeches that he delivered, um, in the United States and Britain and Africa. Um, you know, so it's definitely worth reading, you know, to to hear the man himself, you know, and not someone else's interpretation, even though, you know, that's cool, too, sometimes, you know, especially if the inter interpretation is to give you an accurate portrayal, you know, of, of the subject. This is a famous book, um, The Death and Life of Malcolm X um, by Peter Goldman is definitely an exhaustive, um, you know, critique and comprehensive look at, at Brother Malcolm's life and his career as a black activist, human rights advocate. Um, you know, so definitely check this book out, you know, if you get a chance to. Um, a lot of these books, you can definitely go to your local Barnes and Noble. Some of them may be out of print. You might have to track them down, you know, go on Google or Amazon or, you know, Strand's bookstore here in New York City, you know, but definitely, um, you have no excuse. You know, I'm striving to make sure that you can get a more int intimate knowledge of, you know, our brother. You know, um, you don't just have to leave it to the movie. This is another book. It's called On the Side of My People, um, A Religious Life of Malcolm X. It was written by a brother, Louis A. DeCaro Jr., This is another book, A Journey of Strength from Wife to Widow to Heroine, um, Betty Shabazz, Surviving Malcolm X, by Russell J. Rickford. Powerful book. This documents not only, um, you know, the sister's marriage and, and union with Brother Malcolm, um, but it, it, it talks about, you know, how she fared as a single mother striving to raise six children, you know, as the wife of an icon. And, um, you know, Betty Shabazz went on to become a strong and powerful sister, human being, you know, human rights activist in her own right, you know, and this documents her uh, life story. Now, this book, this book is one of the most powerful books that I have ever read. Um, Martin and Malcolm and America, A Dream or a Nightmare by Dr. James H. Cohn. This book is like a comparison, you know, on the lives and the situations that helped to form, you know, a Dr. King, you know, and how he viewed America or and, you know, a Malcolm X and how he viewed America. You know, Dr. King was raised, um, with, you know, his family structure was intact. Um, he was able to go to college. He was, he was able to see a lot of the best things that America had to offer. And thus he had more hope, um, 
that informed his public career. He was more optimistic um, than Malcolm was because of how he was raised. You know, he hadn't seen the things that Malcolm saw. Malcolm, on the other hand, um, you know, his father was killed, assassinated for his um, activities as a member of the Universal Negro Improvement Association under the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. You know, his father was labeled as a troublemaker and killed by the Ku Klux Klan. And, you know, um, Malcolm's f family was subsequently ripped apart. His mother was committed to an, an, uh, an asylum and his family was broken up. And Malcolm went through all types of difficulties as a teenager that led him to prison and um, ultimately led him to, um, you know, becoming Malcolm X, you know, having found himself in prison and becoming a member of the Nation of Islam. But Malcolm, you know, he saw the nightmare of America. And this book definitely is a great comparison of the outlooks that shaped them and, and, and their efforts to deal with those outlooks as responsible black men in American society is definitely well worth the read. This book... Um, might be hard to find, but it's called The Political Legacy of Malcolm X by Oba T. Shaka. This book also might be very, you know, might be considerably hard to find, but it's definitely well worth reading because it, it takes it a, much farther than the other book that I showed you, Malcolm X, The Assassination. This book is called Conspiracies, Unraveling the Assassination of Malcolm X by Baba Zach A. Kondo. And um, this book is powerful. It definitely explores um, the different groups, as I was talking about earlier, that had a hand in, um, you know, wanting to see Brother Malcolm gone. I, I can't say it any way but that, you know, I just got to be totally honest. And there were definitely elements of the government, the CIA. There was elements of, you know, as far as the FBI and the and, um the um, police, you know, the local police um, bureau in New York, um, as well as elements of the Nation of Islam that wanted Malcolm, you know, gone, you know, and saw Malcolm's existence as a threat. And this book, you know, um, helps to shed light, you know, on, um, you know, the forces that ultimately brought an end to the life of Brother Malcolm X. This book is Malcolm X, The Man in His Times. It was edited by our great brother, Dr. John Henry Clark. Um, you know, John Henry Clark should be familiar to anyone who has any type of real knowledge and concern of the black man's struggle. Dr. John Henry Clark was a scholar, a warrior scholar in his own right. And, um, you know, he, he enjoyed a close friendship with brother Malcolm X. And this book is kind of similar in a way. Um, to the other book I showed you, Malcolm X, as they knew him, um, with different people who weigh in on, you know, uh, Malcolm X and his life and his times and his impact, you know, on our movement and struggle, you know, for liberation as a black people. And um, the last one I have to show you today is Malcolm X, by any means necessary. Um, you know, this isn't one of the comprehensive types of, of autobiographies. This is more for like school age children, you know, and, um, you know, middle school, you know, it's kind of like an introduction, you know, to Malcolm and his life. You know what I mean? So um, having said that, you know, I'm going to cut this short and I'm going to post this to social media. And I hope this little exploration or exposition of the many books that are out there and there's many more. You know, I just didn't have the space to really arrange them the way I wanted, would have wanted to. But um, I, this is this is good. You know, with this right here, you know, anyone who really cares about our brother Malcolm X and his legacy and um, desires, you know, to get more information on him so that they might be able to become a leader, an activist in their own right, you know, to use um you know, the knowledge and the wisdom and the information, you know, of Malcolm in the present day, this would be a good start, you know, for to set you on your path. You know, I know it has definitely strengthened me as a brother, you know, to have had an opportunity to go through, you know, this rich information. So having said that, I say peace and blessings, man. This is Brother Mike X signing off.